Hey guys, Kaylee here with Embrace the Adventure and today I have one hell of a tour for you guys. So we'll be touring the Splash RV Resort and Water Park located in Milton, Florida. It's brand new so a couple things aren't open quite yet. That includes the playground um, and some of the sites aren't finished yet but for the most part you get a big bang for your buck. So we are here for a month and we've been here for about a week and a half so far. So I have a pretty good idea of what I think of the place. And I'm gonna go ahead and say, it's the nicest RV resort we've ever stayed at and especially for the price. So stay tuned, let's drive around, let's see what this place has to offer and make sure to stay tuned till the end, leave a comment. Um, let me know what you think um, and if you have any more questions about this place. So let's tour it. All right. And here is an overview of the map for Splash RV Resort and Water Park. And I am pointing out that we are right next to Interstate 10, which is amazing if you're wanting to just get off and stay here and then hop back on. But I will say it is kind of noisy. Now that doesn't bother me, but it's just one little thing I'm going to point out just so you are aware. But here is the map, you guys. And it's huge. It's 60 plus acres of RV park. So incredible. Absolutely incredible. Um, and just hitting these amenities, there's 60 plus acres, uh, lazy river, golf cart rentals, lake with paddleboard, canoe, and kayak rentals, four pickleball courts, one basketball court, one kid's playground, and that is not yet complete. Um, adults only pool with bar, so that is separate from the family pool, which is kind of awesome if you're wanting that quiet time, so I thought that was pretty neat. Um, three additional pools, 40 cottages and luxury covered wagons, all concrete RV pads and pull through sites, full RV hookups, fire pits, dog parks. It goes on and on. So this place, they did not skip any expense when creating this place. There's also an ice machine. It was to our left there. Um, and you can also fill up your five gallon water containers. So that's just a really cool added bonus. But what I love you guys, these bathhouses are insane are absolutely insane so that building that we just passed that will have your laundry area which is shown here as well as your bathhouse which has your shower and your restroom facilities but this laundry room and again we have our washer and dryer on our rig but i want to always show this for those of you guys who use this they do have a folding table in here tons of washers tons of dryers they have these bars for you to hang things up on and there are, I believe, three bathhouses on or at this RV park. So, I mean, this is beautiful. This is the nicest laundry room I've ever seen at an RV park. Um, and so if you're doing your laundry here, you can feel very safe and secure, you know, just knowing that these are really nice units. They are new. And I mean, it's just, it's absolutely incredible. Um, and the first time I walked into this bathhouse, my jaw dropped because I mean, not only do they have these digital options for, you know, laundry services, but wait until you see the actual bathhouse, like where you would go to the restroom, take a shower and all of that. We are hitting it in three, two, one, bam. And I mean, from the vaulted high ceilings, these mirrors, hello, it's me. These mirrors go from the ceiling to the sink. I mean, they just did everything so beautifully. I've never, ever in my life seen an RV park like this. And we've been full-timing for 14 months and camping on the weekends before that for a couple of years. And I have never seen an RV park done this well. So I uh, look at that, you guys. I mean, if, if you're going to use a bathhouse, I mean, this is the one you want to use. This is incredible. And again, I believe they have three of these at the RV park. So it's incredible. And then here is the covered wagon area. So these are heated, AC'd and all of that. And then this is a giant teepee that is located kind of in that area. So the boys love to go over here and just play, run around in here. And you can see as we come out of this teepee, look at these covered wagons and they have a king bed and bunk beds in there. So you can come and stay and glamp in a covered wagon. Your kids will have a water park, a teepee to play in. I've just never seen anything like this, you guys. And I mean, I I consider myself a really well-versed RVer and I have never seen this. And the price point, you guys, it starts at $7.99 per month. 
$7.99 per month. And that includes all your utility, all of your utilities. You're not paying $7.99 plus an electric bill. $7.99 is all inclusive. Um, and that is for the row that's closest to I-10. And that is because it is the noisiest row. So I will say that, but I will also tell you that, you know, if you're outside, you do hear I-10, I'm not going to lie. But if you're inside, you just don't notice it. And if you're outside listening to music, you're not gonna notice it. Um, it's just not a big deal to me. But if noise is a really big deal breaker to you when you book this place, just make sure you request a site as far from I-10 as possible. And if you don't have an RV, that's not a problem for here either. You know, they have those covered wagons that are ac and heated. They also have luxury cabins, so, or little cottages. And look at this, you guys. I mean, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? So this area right here, this pool is heated. And I mean, it's it feels so good. It was chilly the other day and this pool is like, oh, it felt so good. Um, this is the family pool. So this is where you and your kiddos will go. And you can see that it only goes up to, I think in the middle, it goes up to four feet. So it's safe. Both of our kiddos can swim, but it's four feet. So, you know, this is a pretty safe area. Um, and also in that walkway that I just showed, if you would walk to your left looking at it, there's an arcade, okay? And it's not like a little crappy arcade. It's a full blown like Dave and Buster's arcade. It's incredible. And there's a store in there as well. I mean, I've just never seen anything like this. So if we keep walking straight, you're going to see to the left, see all of um, the blue and the red in the, in the sky or whatever. So that canopy underneath that is going to be a beer garden. That's not yet complete. And they are also going to have three stationary food trucks here. Okay. So straight ahead, you can see a blue one. You can kind of see the other two in the distance right there. So they are going to have three stationary food trucks here up and running very soon. And that is the adult pool straight ahead. And they also have a hot tub just for adults. So if you come here with your family, they have that family pool. They have that family option. If you're coming here with your spouse or you're wanting to get away, they have that adult side so you don't have to worry about noise and you don't have to worry about getting splashed it's just they thought about everything and then out here you guys it's all turf and I am telling you that I mean being able to just walk around not worry about bugs everything is turf it's beautiful and then they've got flipping water slides I <sighs> I've just never seen this. I've never seen an RV park like this before and I'm so excited to show you guys. Um, tons of seating, a lazy river. Now the lazy river is not heated. The only things that are heated, of course, would be your hot tub and then both the pools, the adult pool and the family pool are both heated as well. But the lazy river and the splash pad, um, those are not heated, but kids don't care. My kids just dive in here. They don't care. They float around their floaties. They love it. They don't care that it feels like ice water. Um, yeah. And once you get in, it's really not bad either. They do have these little steps and they go all the way across. So you can really get a beautiful view of this place. And again, look, two water slides. They do have lifeguards on duty. Um, I just, <laughs> I mean, $7.99 a month. Do you know what I mean? It's incredible. Um, and again, that includes your utilities. That includes, you know, the electric portion and all of that. Now you do pay additional fees if you have more than two people. So we had to pay an extra $200 for our month. Um, so it ended up after taxes being right at like $1,100. Uh, so, I mean, still just not bad. We're 30 minutes from um, Pensacola Beach, the public beach, and we are 25 minutes from Navarre Beach. So we're a very short drive to the ocean, to the Gulf. Um, and then we have this water park to enjoy. And something else is, you know, just pointing out the attention to detail here. These are the showers at the water park. It looks like a palm tree. There are lights, it's a shower, it's, it's amazing. And they have these games set out for families. They have not only cornhole, but this block building game. They have Connect Four. They have that big stage. They have live music on the weekends. I just, I don't know what else they could do to be better because they're just, this is amazing. And I'm not driving the full amount or the full perimeter of the park, but I wanted you guys to get the gist of it. It's all concrete. You've got pull through sites, you have back end sites. And then this side of the park is the side we are on. And this side does not yet have Wi-Fi, um, but that's okay. We have our mobile must have on board. We didn't need it, but the park does have really good Wi-Fi for the other sites that do 
you know, have the Wi-Fi. Um, there's some cottages there to my right. Um, but this is what they're continuing to work on and finish out. And you guys will see our North Point coming up here on the left. We are staying in the E section, which is the grayed out part on the map because it's the newest section. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you visit here. Well worth it. I'll post in the comments below or the description box below the website and all of that. Make sure to leave a comment. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one.